Okay, so today I'm showing you a more intense way of doing hammer curls. We've all been taught to take the dumbbells like this, curl them up, alternating, left, right, left, right, and we return back to the bottom position each time. The bottom is essentially a relaxed position. So what <laughs> I've played around with and what uh, has become very intense is curling the weight up simultaneously and holding it there at the top and then alternating, lowering, and raising them just like this. So I'm holding them right here, holding it about a 90 degree angle in my elbow, curling like this gets to the point where those arms are feeling every bit of it, begging for mercy near the end of that set. This is just the kind of form I use. I want to have it at a dead stop as close to a 90 degree angle at the top. And you can see it's almost a speed game after a while. You want to get those dumbbells going <laughs> and get them to the end of the set as fast as possible because next thing you know, when you start at a 90 degree angle like this, they'll end up falling, falling, falling during the set. So even having a static contraction at the top becomes quite difficult to maintain. So that's just my take on how to intensify your dumbbell hammer curls. Have fun with it. Alternatively, you can do this also with regular dumbbell curls. You can hold them up at the top of a curl position and then from there alternate left, right, left, right. I'm actually talking about your left and your right and coming up to a 90 degree angle in the elbow, just about the halfway mark. And you'll see those biceps, they start to feel it. Keep them angled out slightly. It's a different feel from what you're going to get from the hammer curls and lactic acid will build up and whew, will it hit you. Hmm. And then once you're done doing regular reps like that, you can also go right back into normal hammer curls afterwards, just like this. So to really blast those arms at that point. So it's a good hit. I think you'll like it. Going from one to the other forces a lot of blood in those arms. It also stimulates that muscle, the bicep, the brachialis underneath it, the bicep, uh, bicep brachialis, the brachioradialis down below on the top of the forearm, as well as your forearm extensors. Enjoy it. Thank you for watching this video and all of my videos. Please take the time to subscribe and like and give me your comments below. I love hearing them. Thank you.